Stability ball pikes are going to challenge our lower ab strength to be able to suck those uh, hips into more flexion, but it's also going to challenge our hamstring flexibility. So if you're a bit like me and you're trying to work on that as many times as possible, then this is a great one to put in there. It's going to work those shoulders as well because we're going to start to stack the hips on top, uh, as you're going to see in a second. So first of all, Tim's going to go up and puts both feet onto, or both shins, should we say, onto the ball. Nice straight body line, so abs are tight bums on and then he's got that nice position of those shoulder waves pushing down actively on the floor so we see that nice um, flat position here then from there he's going to push the bum up in the air but he's going to use those lower abs to suck the uh, thighs in towards his stomach and he's really causing uh, that effect or that movement to come from those lower abs pulling in it's then going to stretch the posterior chain so those glutes and those hamstrings are going to be stretching through there and then when you um, controlling back down we're just going to make sure that we get that nice flat body position and when we're on the way back up we're trying to get that nice stacked position with the hips on top of the shoulders so we can see tim as he drives through there we get those shoulder raise moving around that rib cage he's getting a lovely handstander position there and a stretch on the um, the hamstrings here and then all the time the core is getting a great workout and that is the stability ball pike